first thing i want to ask you what is habit many people are affected by the good habits bad habits or so many things are few habits are uh, socially acceptable few habits are socially not acceptable few habits people used to say it is a very very appreciating few habits people will derogate or you can say people will make derogatory remarks why all these things are happening habit is a just good mixture of desire knowledge and skill but main thing is your desire main thing is your desire one person wanted to become terrorist for him all the habits whatever we think it is a bad for them it will be good for them it will be good do do they will follow there is also certain certain guideline or certain uh, you can say under the certain influence he will follow all the bad bad habits and they are ready to sacrifice their life itself they they will develop the desire like that do to first and foremost thing is there to do anything in your life a small thing big thing biggest thing desire must be there it should be very burning desire it must be enough intense desire to find the way similar way like water if it is just keep on hitting the mountain if it is keep on he, keep on will hit to the mountain for sufficient length uh, longer time automatically path will be made similarly if desire is enough intense it will find the way how to gain the knowledge and how to get the skill and once you will combine all these things it will generate habit and this habit will depends on what is our desire that is main question then habits you can say effective habits internalize principles and patterns of our behavior main effect is it will affect our behavior if you are good good in reading it is going to affect your behavior if you are good in solving the puzzles it is going to affect your behavior many of the many point of time you will feel you are differentiated you are something different i am telling in good sense not bad sense if you are able to able to solve puzzles or you are able to solve tough math this will incur, this will show in your behavior you cannot hide it the intersection of knowledge skill and desire it is habit product is habit but first thing is this one knowledge is knowledge is having the part if you want to do then what to do why to do similar way today we will learn if you want to want to do do the good in cat then why to do the st uh, study routine and what to what to include in our study routine but how to make it that will give you a skill some skill you have to learn like vedic math skill data handling skill speed reading skill how to move the eye during your reading all these are a skill part it is not knowledge part it is not a knowledge it is a skill you have to inculcate you have to develop in yourself based on the habit and based on the repeat, repetition of uh, repetition of engagement and desire want to what you want to do you know enough just will proceed what is habit we understood but why habits are essential for success any kind of success because your habits will determine your future it is not going to determine your uh, uh, wherever you have taken uh, born or what is what was your father or how much you have. your only habits are going to determine your future first we are making investment to make our habits like now all of you are doing all of you are investing lot of time or investing good amount of time to inculcate your habits you are putting hard effort to inculcate daily whatever i am sending newspaper magazine reading almost 10 to 11 page reading daily initially it is not it is very difficult i know i have crossed that path i have crossed that path daily solving the puzzle daily solving the vedic math after what daily going to the videos not easy but how much you are investing or how much you are sacrificing how much energy and time you are putting to inculcate your habits that will again come back to you in the form of reward and it will make you means we first make our habits and then habits make us motivation is necessary to do anything after desire second most ingredient of success is motivation but motivation two type will be there one is external one is internal many of the people will you will see like there i also many of the times try uh, i am giving i am trying to motivate you but externally motivation external motivation it may be temporary you to always i am trying to say you you motivate yourself internally not externally if you are motivating your yourself externally then it may be temporary after one hour two hour you will come again in same phase whatever you were 
if you are motivated internally then it will be permanent it will be durable but motivation is what gets you started based on the motivation you will get sufficient energy to push something any work you want to start you will get the pushing energy that is motivation but to continue because success will come with the continuity not only pushing pushing is not sufficient if you are pushed one day and it is the average people 97% people are generally they will motivated for maybe few hours or few days only 3% people in the world are there they are internally motivated they can linger their motivation for long time years together they have everything written and whatever written they they have they have wrote they are achieving line by line this simple thing but not easy things are simple but not easy we have to maintain lot of discipline and we have to show lot of courage we have to, almost we have to become mad if society and other people are not telling you you have become mad you are just madness you are not going to test the success to get the to get the test of success you must be become little mad 